Okay, this is uh, this is the sale video. Uh, if you all been waiting for uh, for an axe, uh, one of the custom hand forged JS Honaker axes, uh, the shipments here. So they're up for sale right now. Uh, I got four pounders and five pounders. I got a mix this time. Um, so I'll just I'll just talk a little bit about it. Um, this is a five this is a five pound national, hand forged by Honaker Blacksmithing, with my stamp on it. Uh, the poles chamfered. It's forty one fifty steel. Uh, this is a five pounder. what the four pounders are looking like same exact thing just one pound less uh, completely designed for wedge banging um, so yeah and let's see what else um, what I really like about my favorite thing about these axes are how big the eye is it's got a really big round eye. Most axe heads uh, have a smaller, um, narrower eye. And that means when you haft it, when you put a handle in there with a smaller, narrower eye, you gotta take more wood off and it makes the handle, it makes the handle a lot smaller right here, which creates a weak point. So uh, these handles right here, you barely have to do any working on them to get them to fit and so they're still real fat right here and I've seen lots of axes break right at the right at the bottom you know they'll snap off and usually that's because a really thin handle that's been worked down quite a bit and uh, the curve was cut down too far it creates a weak point right there so that's uh, that's what I really like about these is the big eye the chamfered edges it's a national pattern. It's my favorite pattern designed for wedge banging. Um, it also has a pretty fat profile. Um, I sold the last batch. I sold a couple and put them on uh, curved handles for a splitter, and they're a little sticky because uh, they narrow out at the tip and they stick a little bit, and they're real. They're they're real flat. Um, so the first batch was, I mean, they'll split, but it wasn't super ideal for a splitting axe. Um, so on this batch I had, I had one of them made with a really fat splitting profile. This one right here is, is thicker. And it has somewhat of a high center line. It's got barely got like a high center line going. It's higher right here, you know. It has a little bit of curvature going to it on both sides. And you can see that by when it was sanded right here. It's sanded higher up right here because there's a high center line. Um, so I had to make one like this. This one's going to Canada. This one's going to fucking Billy Ray. He wanted one. And so I had one made with a, a better splitting profile. And um, if that's something you guys are wanting, maybe leave a comment down below because uh, I don't want to order 10 splitters and then nobody really wants them. So it, it depends on, on what you're going to use it for. This whole thing was designed for a uh, timber falling wedge banging axe, but... Uh, a lot of people that watch the channel, they're uh, splitting firewood and stuff, so I'd like to have that option. Maybe next time, depending on what you guys say in the comments, I'll have, you know, two or three splitting profile ones out of the ten that I get. So, um, that's about it on that. Um, handle choice. Um, the fours. The fours really match up well with a 26 inch handle. Uh, I could put a 28 on there if you like the length, 
But uh, fours and 26s match up really well. And then uh, the fives really match up good with a 28. Um, it's all personal preference. So you could put a 26 inch on the five. A, lo a lot of the fallers like the really short handles. Um, that's my suggestion. That's that's my personal preference. A 26 on a four pounder and a 28 on a five pounder. And then uh, right now for handle choice, I got the Amish Hickory. This is a 26. I got 28s on the way. This should be here within a week. And I got 26s and 28s of the West Coast handles. Uh, I lean towards the West Coast handle. Um, they fit better. The eye fits better. And oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, these Amish handles come with nothing on them. No lacquer, no oil, no finish, no nothing. It's just dry wood. And the advantages of that are um, I can finish it the way I want. I can burn it and make the grain pop and then put finish oil on it, which looks really nice. These ones come with lacquer on them. Um, and at first I didn't like that because you can't burn them. Like I've tried to burn them and all the oil just boils out and it turns into this big mess. Um, but I ended up, so I should have done it. I should have cut, when I'm done hafting one, I cut this bottom piece off. And you can see um, whatever oil he is using. Um, so Lee and Hoffman makes these on his lathe. It's Garrett Austin's design and West Coast Saw sells them. But Liam Hoffman, and I've, I've gotten handles from him before, before he started making these, I got some other curved handles from him and they had the same lacquer and he puts them in this barrel and he lets them soak in this lacquer or oil or whatever it is. It's something different because it smells like something I've never smelled, but uh, when I cut this piece off, you can see how far the oil penetrates into the wood and it goes almost all the way through the wood. So the, almost all of this wood is saturated with oil where, um, and I feel like that makes it really strong. Like this whole piece of wood is soaked with oil where when I burn this one, and I wipe oil on it. Um, and I've cut through handles before that I've done that with and the oil just penetrates the surface. The whole inside is all dry. Um, so that, that's my take on, on the West Coast handles. Uh, it, and it's all personal preference. I like the burn look, but if, um, I would say these are a little bit more durable and I would say these are going to last longer, but you're not going to have the burn, you know, you're not going to have the grain pop from me burning it. So, uh, that's my little rant on the handles. Um, let's see what else pricing. Um, this time the fours are going to be 450 plus shipping and the fives are going to be 475. Um, with shipping, so that's and shipping across the United States is it's usually never more than thirty bucks. So um, that gives you kind of an idea on how much they're going to cost. And there's a, a limited amount. So last time they sold in ten minutes. So I'm kind of expecting around the same this time, maybe a little bit longer. Um, let's see what else. Um, I'm leaving, so I'm going to take orders today, but I'm leaving town for a week. So it's going to take the turnaround time on these are going to be a little bit longer than last time. Like I won't even get started on them until I get back. Um, that's another thing. Uh, I'm leaving town. 
Um, I'm going to Washington. Uh, so something really cool is happening. Uh, I'm going up to Washington to work with a YouTuber. Um, so in the comments down below, you guys could probably guess what's going on by now, but um, I kind of want to hype that all up because it's going to be a good time. So um, some of my next tree videos are going to be up there in Washington and I'll be up there for a week. So hopefully something cool will happen. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I'll put my, my phone number on the screen. And if you want to order, uh, you can text me and then I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. It's going to be a hundred dollar deposit. I'll put your name on one. And then when I finish it, I'll collect the rest of the money and it'll go out in the mail. Um, like I said, the turnaround time on this on this batch is going to be a little bit longer because I'm leaving for a week. So I want to get all the orders in today, and then when I get back, I'll start pumping them out. So that's the deal. Right on. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that. One more thing. Uh, we're going to get... If you order one, you're going to get a Honaker sticker. Honaker Blacksmithing is the guy that's making these. Beast Mode Tree Service sticker, either one of these two. And I think I'm going to start doing a giveaway every month. Uh, so if you make it to the end of my videos, I'm going to have uh, once a month, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to have some shirts, some uh, Beast Mode, more Beast Mode shirts made. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to design a different logo and shirt. Uh, I have an idea um, for a shirt. And so I'm thinking once a month, um, if you make it to the end of my videos, there'll be directions on how to win a shirt. So I'm just trying to do that because a lot of people are asking for shirts and sweatshirts and hats and stickers and all that. So this is uh, kind of my solution on how to get those out.